So polyethene, as you know, is completely non-polar and completely unreactive polyethene. So because of this lack of reactivity, it will not react with anything and hence it will not break down because obviously to break down, it has to react with something. So this causes a, pro a lot of problems like filling up of landfills and all. And uh, so we need, we need polymers that break down. So now we don't have this problem with polyesters, which are something like this. We don't have this problem with polyesters because let's just take this polyester for example. So this is a polyester because you can see the ester linkage. So now this ester linkage can be broken down by hydrolysis. In AS levels, you saw how esters are hydrolyzed. Uh, so this ester linkage will be broken down by hydrolysis. And uh, similarly, all the ester linkages in the, in, the poly, uh, in the polyester will be broken down by hydrolysis. So you will get carboxylic acid and you will get the alcohol. Or if you are doing the hydrolysis in alkaline conditions, then you will get uh, the sodium, the, the alkaline salt, the salt of the carboxylic acid, not the alkaline salt, but the salt of the alkaline, uh, of the, the salt of the carboxylic acid and you will get the alcohol. So in the case of alkaline hydrolysis, you get a salt uh, of the carboxylic acid and you get the alcohol. But in any case, hydrolysis is happening. The molecule is breaking down into its individual carboxylic acid and alcohol so there is no problem similar for polyamides we have co ch2 taking the same example but i'll just replace the o with the nh so ch2 ch2 co and nh CH2, CH2, and NH. So this is a polyamide, as you know, because this is the amide linkage. This is the amide linkage. And similarly, these uh, amides can also be broken down by hydrolysis. When I did a playlist on organic nitrogen compounds, you saw how the breakdown happens with hydrolysis how the breakdown of amides take place uh, takes place by hydrolysis so this is um this is exactly what it's all about the uh, uh, that polyamides and polyesters which are condensation polymers basically they are they, they can be broken down easily by hydrolysis now photodegradation so photodegradation occurs when i have a polymer chain like this uh, and um, so not not a polymer chain like this but like um, let me make a good example for this so we have a polymer chain uh, like okay let's let's take this polymer chain and at regular intervals we have these um, these uh, amide bonds okay not amide sorry the ketone groups the the carbonyl groups the co groups so this is the carbonyl group again and just that regular lens inside the pol inside the polymer chain so what happens is that this bond co it absorbs ultraviolet light and as it absorbs ultraviolet light it breaks down so you can see that the molecule is breaking down from here from here and from here so this is what causes the uh, polymer to break down into many pieces this is known this process is known as photodegradation and it only happens when you have the CO group inside the polymer chain, not outside the polymer chain, but it has to be inside the polymer chain. Because if it was there as a side chain, for example, like if I had something like this, this was my main polymer chain, and I had a, car I had a carbon, another carbon, another carbon, and let's say I had a CO. There, this was a branch, and I had a CO. So it will only break this part, but it will not break the entire polymer chain. So it has to be inside the polymer chain and not branched from the polymer chain. So remember that. And this process is known as photodegradation. Now, uh, we have done hydrolysis and photodegradation, two ways of uh, 
टू टू सो टू वेज इन विच पॉलिमर्स कैन बी ब्रोकन डाउन सर्टन टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलि 